Hi, everybody, and welcome to our learning activity on purpose statements, research questions, hypotheses, and variables. So what I've done is I pulled some sample hypotheses, and then we're going to break it down and identify the dependent variable, the independent variable, the research question, the research design, and the hypothesis, if applicable. So the first one is the purpose of this correlational study is to determine the relationship between receiving CBT while incarcerated and successful reentry in 18 to 40 year old African American males who've been incarcerated for felony a minimum of a year and have been out for at least a year. So the research design is going to be correlational. So it's quantitative. And the independent variable is what helps with the outcome. So the predictor variable is the one in this case that's going to predict the outcome. So in this particular case, uh, we have a lot of independent variable. It's all of these pieces of information about the individual. So in this case, it's going to be CBT, the, whether they had CBT or not, age, race, and gender. The outcome is going to be that reentry, right? That's what we're looking at. So that's going to be our outcome that we're measuring. Our research question is going to be, is there a relationship between receiving CBT while incarcerated and successful reentry in 18 to 40 year old African American males who've been incarcerated for a felony in minimum a year, but have been out for at least a year. The null hypothesis is going to just be the null of that. So there is no relationship. And then you use all the same language. All right, so that's the first one. The next one is the purpose of this phenomenological study is to examine the effect of the lived experience of rural millennials who use social media at least three hours a day who live in the Appalachian region, specifically in eastern Kentucky and southwest Virginia. So our research design here is going to be qualitative because it's a phenomenological study. There we go. And our independent variable are going to be the things that describe our population, the characteristics of our study. So that's rural, millennial, and social media for at least three hours. And our dependent is the outcome that we're looking at, which in this case is the lived experience. Our research question is just going to be a purpose statement in a question format. So that's going to be what is the lived experience of this population. And our null hypothesis well, that's sort of a trick question because we don't have a null hypothesis. We don't test hypotheses in qualitative. So there's no null hypothesis for here. Okay. Our next one is the purpose of this phenomenological study is to explore the lived experiences of women in early adulthood who've received a diagnosis of bipolar one or two and are actively receiving treatment in Louisville, Kentucky area. So our research design, like we said before, is going to be qualitative because it's a phenomenological design. So our method is qualitative. Our design is phenomenological. Our independent variable is going to be the description of our uh, group and the experience. So diagnosis, receiving treatment, gender, and age. Our dependent variable is going to be, again, the lived experiences. And then our research question is going to be our purpose statement restated as a question. So what is the lived experience? And the null, another trick question because it's qualitative, we're not going to have a null. All right, so the purpose of this correlational study is to determine if the amount of time spent on non-academic social media predicts self-esteem in adolescents ages 13 to 17 years by gender in Kentucky. Our research design, going to be quantitative and correlational. So our methodology is quantitative and our design is correlational. Independent variables, the description of our group and, and what the uh, predicted, predictor variable is. So the ages, the gender, location, and that use of non-academic social media. Our outcome or predicted variable in this particular one is going to be self-esteem. We're going to change that purpose statement into a question. And that's going to be, does the amount of time spent on non-academic social media predict self-esteem in adolescents ages 13 to 17 years by gender in Kentucky? Our null hypothesis is going to be the amount of time spent on non-academic social media does not predict self-esteem in adolescents. Remember, with our null hypothesis, we're always trying to disprove that. So we always have a negative. 
The next one is the purpose of this correlational study is to determine if there's a relationship between the severity of adverse childhood experience scores and clinical depression in African American females ages 45 to 55. Our research design is going to be correlational with a methodology of quantitative. Our predictor variables are going to be African American female, the age, and the ACE. Our dependent variable is going to be the clinical depression, because that's what we're trying to predict. We're going to change that purpose statement to a question. Is there a relationship between the severity of ACE score and clinical depression in African American females ages 45 to 55 years old? Our null hypothesis is going to be that research question changed a bit. There is no relationship between, da, 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 right? Because we're always trying to disprove. The purpose of this correlational study is to examine the relationship between screen time and depression in children ages 8 to 12 years old who live in Seattle, Washington. Research design is going to be correlational with a research methodology, quantitative. Our predictor variables are going to be age, location, and screen time. Our dependent variable is going to be depression. Our research question is going to be that purpose statement restated as a question, is there a relationship? And the null hypothesis is going to be trying to disprove that. There is no relationship, right? Number seven, the purpose of this correlational study is to determine if there's a relationship between parental affirmation of LGBT individuals between the ages of 18 to 24 years during the first year of coming out and their change in substance use during the first year of coming out. We're going to have a correlational design and a quantitative methodology. Our predictor or independent variables are going to be the parental affirmation, age, and time since coming out. Our dependent variable is going to be the substance use. The research question is, is there a relationship between parental affirmation of LGBT individuals between the ages of 18 to 24 years during the first year coming out and their change in substance use during the first year? Similarly, we'll make that a null hypothesis by saying there is no relationship between those variables. The purpose of this quasi-experimental study is to examine the difference between academic success of traditional age Latino student who students, it should be students, <laughs> who have a two-week prep course before starting college and those who do not participate in a two-week prep course. My research design is going to be quasi-experimental and that means that my methodology is quantitative. My independent variables are going to be academic success, traditional age, Latino students, and participation in the uh, prep course. Actually, academic success is not one of those. Let me take that out. I was like, that's the dependent variable. So there we go. Traditional age, Latin American participation in the two-week prep course. And that means that academic success is our dependent variable because that's what we're measuring. Research question, are there differences between academic success and between these two variables? And then the null hypothesis is there is no difference. So that is our exercise. I hope this has been helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.